TV, House of Bricks Wrestling. I'm Joe Rebello, your host, and you're about to enter the battle zone. We have exciting competitors ready to fight to their fullest potential here at the VFW in Fairhaven, Massachusetts. Stay tuned for exciting action as you enter the battle zone. This week on Turn Buckle TV, House of Bricks Pro Wrestling takes a look at the next exciting event happening this Saturday night, Slam Masters. And in this week's third Buffalo TV main event, from Battle Zone, the House of Bricks for the New England Championship is on the line as Hot Shot Deshaun, with Can He Be Done, defends against the game changer, Alex Rated. Everybody, it's your old pal Kenny B. Dunn coming to you from the headquarters of KBD Enterprises. I get a lot of letters from fans wondering, Kenny, since you're the advocate for the Southern New England champion, hot shot to Sean, why is he the face of KBD Enterprises? And I have to tell them, Kenny B. Dunn knows talent. I've known talent for a long time. I've, I've managed a lot of great champions up and down the road. But Hotshot has talent, he has charisma, he has passion, he has drive. In one word, he has it. And I've seen it from the start. I've seen the greatness in him. And I, I knew that if we worked together, we could take House of Bricks and any organization by storm. Other wrestlers, like Alex Rated, get jealous when they see of... Hotshot's success, the, the, the attention he gets from the fans, his physique. I mean, if I were Alex Rated, I'd be jealous too. But, you know, what are you going to do? But I digress. By the way, don't forget this week, the main event of Turnbuckle TV, which stars the Marconi award-winning team of journalist Joe Robello and yours truly, Kenny B. Dunn. We'll be calling the match, the main event from Battle Zone 2, Hot Shot to Sean, your House of Bricks Southern New England champion, against the upstart, Alex Rated. And don't forget, this Saturday, July 20th, in Fairhaven, Massachusetts, your Southern New England champion and his advocate, Kenny B. Dunn, will be making an appearance. Who will be taking on? I can tell you who it's not going to be. Right, champ? We'll see you all at Fairhaven at Slam Masters. Why you want to fight me? Every time I introduce myself at the House of Brick, you interfere. You slapping me in the face. You hitting me from behind. No more. Now with this Saturday, I fight you. I come for you. You and me in the ring. I will fight you and give you the Caesarian Slam. Uno, due, tre, finire. Io vinco. I win. Son, Enig, Karunta, Tus Prensi.
See those clouds, House of Bricks? It means a storm's coming. A storm that trumpets the Knights of Destruction. We've already destroyed everything you have. Mighty Bosch, Ragnarok, we've cleared house. Your champions are gone. You've got nobody left. Just give us the titles or we will destroy everything. It is now time for our main event of the evening! And it is for the House of Bricks Sunday New England Championship! Championship. The forward object given to Deshaun by Kenny B. Dunn. Now the latest charge of Kenny B. Dunn Enterprises. Dr. Forrester once again has a champion in his stable, but Alex Trader has been hot on the heels of Deshaun. Alexander's got a mission. Alexander was tragically assaulted with the forward object, which is still under discussion. And has been in a constant chase after the Southern New England Championship held by one hot shot to shot. Again, you always have to deal with that 
third person in the ring, and we don't mean the ref, we mean Kenny B. Dunn as a manager. He may not be in the ring per se, but I'll tell you, he's all over the ring, assisting Deshaun in whatever end-handed way that he can get away with against Alex. It's that simple. As you know, journalism, Joe, you're a longtime veteran of New England wrestling. Kenny B. Dunn, obviously no stranger to the squared circle. 20 plus years, if I'm correct, of professional wrestling experience behind him? I would say actually closer to 25 and almost 30. And right here with Deshaun Diego, hot shot, the Southern New England champion, two years in the business, and he's got the managerial talent of Kenny B. Dunn behind him. But he's a young talent, he's an exciting talent. And he's a proven commodity so far in this relatively short amount of time he's been in the industry. All of you people all of my man just respect and say happy birthday to the man. Now I was told by management not to discuss the happy birthday. I don't know who he's referring or what he's referring to. I wouldn't trust the word he says. It might be his birthday, it might not be his birthday. I didn't see his birth certificate. Well, we're ready to light the candles here for one incredible, exciting match. Right now, both athletes, collared elbow tie up in the center of the squared circle. Go behind from Alex Rated. And into the full Nelson, half Nelson. Been out, snap mare. Can you count my fingers? Excuse me, Jittles and Joe, I'm not one to say this usually, but I believe if given a fair opportunity without Kenny B. Dunn in his corner, Al Trader could be possibly the next House of Rick Southern England champion. I completely agree. He's got the talent, he's got the ability, he's got the moves, he's just got to place it all together. He's got to be able to not only be able to wrestle in the ring, but to counter Kenny B. Dunn's various uh, nefarious tactics and antics in the ring. But the most important person in the world is defeating Hot Shot to Sean. I have no words for that. I don't want to have words for that. Right here, see what you want about him. Hot shot to show to control with that side headlock. Good transition from side to side. Going for the hammer lock. Good chain wrestling. Control back and get a headlock on the opposite side. This is what I enjoy. This is what I enjoy. Classic chain wrestling. Classic technique. I love high flying. I love the Lucha Libre. I love the Japanese style of the upper sewer. I love all the different aspects of the arts. However, if you can't wrestle, if you don't have good solid fundamentals, if you don't have good transition to game wrestling, you're not going to make it in this business effectively. Hey, Dave, show, worry about the top rope. No, ducks the clothesline. Out traded, hip toss. The shot out to the outside, being controlled by Kenny B. Dunn. Now, once again, back to the outside. Can he be done trying to regroup his newest member of KBB Enterprise, KBD Enterprises, excuse me. Well, you know, I mean, sometimes if you're a hot shot to Sean, you need that additional inspiration. Oh, incredible drop kick right to the face of Deshaun by now. Once again, out, excuse me, hot wow. shot to Sean to the outside. Now Alex Reed is giving chase. Alex chasing after. They think they're leaving? Not by a long shot. And they got him by the hair, their hearts and minds will follow. Sends him up to the second rope. But he rolls out on the opposite side of the ring. Taking a powder. Once again, Kenny be done right there with him. 
Outtreated, not giving up. He done, yes. done trying to help yes. him out again, but oh! <laughs> that incredible Nukate knife fix, spear hand strike on the part of the followed by a powerful right hand. Sends the shot sprawling down the length of the ring. Slap the glasses off his face, mama. That momentary distraction, Al Trader being caught off guard by Kennedy Dunn, allowing Hot Shot to show him they open up some room. Getting that knee locked in. Oh, and no. now here we go. Oh, no. Kennedy B. Dunn strangling, choking Alex with the full kill. Crushing his windpipe, taking the life out of him, taking the air and the breath out of Alex. Going for the hook. One, and only one, on the part of Ron Deshaun on Alex. Alex gets out. Deshaun putting the boots to Alex. They're going to pay the price. Stopping him time after time again. Driving his foot across the throat. Making him before the five count. The one, the fans are getting a little too agitated. Choking, crushing the windpipe of Alex. Deshaun with his leg looked over. Be done attempting to listen for cries of mercy, but there are none. None from Alex. Driven into the corner by Deshaun. Spear hand straight to the throat. Attempting to continue to crush the windpipe. Stop. Falling for that move. Falling for that move. And oh! This is the high splash. That body drop. Incredible technique. Deshaun's up on the unit. With that back elbow. Following it up. Setting it up. Stuck under. Kick to the and oh. Sit up, Powerball. Oh, the two count. Alex Rated just inches away. Can it be done now on the apron? Then can he be done again? Occupying the referee. Put up, hook up. Double arm on the hook. Reverse for Nelson. And a three count. What? Only a two count. What? I thought I see three, but no. Right now, Hot Shot to Sean can play with the referee about a slow count. That was only two. Out three, blocking that right, blocking that left. Double in Sagiri on the part of Alex and Deshaun, knocking each other out to the mat. Now it's only a matter of time. What can, which competitor can get up there? Which can recover in time to achieve a vertical base? Now the clock is ticking. Now the race is on. Which one of these valiant competitors would be up to their feet in time? The fan favorite attendees at VFW Fairhaven, Willie Alex to his feet. Can it be done trying to get hot shot to Sean? One of these men need to get back up to gain an advantage in the Southern New England Championship match on this episode of Turnbuckle TV. Both men now trading right hand to the center of the squared circle. Irish whip, no reversal, duck under. Hot shot trying to pick him up. Oh, the shot finally lifts him up over the top. Trying to pull him over for the three count. Does he hook the leg? No! Once again, two. only a two count. Al Trader still in this championship contest. Go for that knee strike. No, misses once again. 
be caught. Sit out Spinebuster. And Kenny B. Dunn just pulled Hotshot out of the ring. I've heard discretion is a better part of Valor, but uh, taking a belt and running is still cowardice. Right now, official Jeremy Bell to a six count. Maybe Kennedy does experience has told him to leave this match. Championship will not change hands via count out. Where you put the count? Unfortunately, by a disqualification from uh, our champion, we call him that, I call him a coward. Whether it be with Kenny Dunn, Kenny Dunn, or without. Well, with the first, sorry, the journalist and Joe, the first time in months, Alex Rita does get the win over Hotshot Deshaun, but be it via count out, no championship will be changing hands. Well, we obviously have to take this up to the next level. We obviously have to take this up to somewhere that most of us just stay in the ring and cannot leave the ring. And we both know one of the only ways that that's capable of doing it. It's either a bull rope, a Russian chain, or a steel cage. So, where and how do we take this to the next level? I know I'm going to give my recommendations to the championship committee on how this match should be taken to the next level to ensure that the Sean and Kenny B. Dunn's ability to cowardly leave will be neutralized. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. This is uh, Journalism Joe Ravello. Please drive safe and hope to see you all next time. Oh, yes. Yes. Hold on, hold on. Come on. There you go. Yeah, can you make that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just bring it over to the ring for me. Okay. Um, can you be, uh, yeah, done guy, yeah. Hey, come on over here, guy. Come on, guys. Come here, come here, come here, Listen, since House of Bricks works on a low budget, I couldn't get a whole cake. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just let everybody know, alright? Anyway, listen, 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 listen. Kenny's been around a long time. I don't know. But he's been around a lot. Okay? Since the 90s. Alright? So, it's his birthday. So, just for him being around that long, let's all sing him happy birthday. Okay? Come on, come on, really. I'll even sing with you, ready? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! you.